Well, hello and good morning to you on this bright and sunny Saturday. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you remember these. These were the seven items and the bag that the lovely Mel from A Treasured Page sent to me. Because we've agreed to do this Rustic 7 challenge where you use seven non-craft items to make a tag. I know there's quite a few people on YouTube that have done it now and we thought we'd have a go. So I did do a very quick video showing you the unpacking of what Mel sent to me. And these are all the pieces. Now, <clears throat> I've seen some people use their own cardstock, etc. for tags. I've decided that I am only going to use what Mel sent me along with glue and ink. That's all I'm going to use. Obviously, I'm going to use some scissors. And I'll probably use my tear ruler <clears throat> that's got a bit of paper stuck to it. So, I did have some ideas when I was unpacking it. Now, I don't know if Mel planned this sort of in her mind and wondered if I would have the same thoughts. But as soon as I looked at all the items together, I just thought, obviously, of babies and of pregnancy. Because we've got blue and pink for a girl and a boy. We've got this anti-acid uh, sheet, anti-acid sheet. Well, you've always got indigestion when you're pregnant. And a tape measure. Well, you're always measured when you're pregnant. You know, measure the size of your bump, measure the size of the baby. So I just thought, you know what? That's the kind of theme that I'm going to sort of go down because that's what it made me think of. Now, they all came in this beautiful, let's take the note off. They all came in this beautiful little pop-up pouch, which is the bottom of a bag. And I thought, do you know what? Fold it all together. Let's take that off. It, um, it makes for quite a solid tag. So I'm going to cheat because I want... Well, it's not cheating. I want this little section here to use for something else. So I'm just going to cut out this section like so and I'll show you why I want that section cut out so cut that piece out that little piece we don't need and then I'm just going to fold it back and glue it down but the reason I wanted this piece is because I'm going to try and yeah massacre that we can use that pin for something else <clears throat> I want to, I'm hoping that's big enough, just, so I'm going to draw around this part of the paper bag to give me a circle, whoops, except obviously I'm rubbish at drawing anything that requires a straight line. Okay, that's close enough for me. And I want to use the brown paper to cover the blue front of that stay safe badge okay so I'm going to trim this out and obviously I can't shout at hubby now because I'm recording but I can hear him doing a job that I said I was going to do when I'd finished recording so I'll just say it so he knows I know what he's doing and he's pretending he can't hear me of course because obviously I want to get rid of this. Well, not obviously, but I do want to get rid of this. So, <clears throat> I'll put some glue on here. Okay. And I'm going to stick this to the front of this. Okay. And obviously where I've drawn around it with a pencil, it's marginally too big. But when that's had a chance to stick, I can trim that up. So that's the first bit that I wanted to do. The next thing we need to do is obviously glue this shut. So first things first, we need to glue in here. Now I did think also I might sew this, but of course it's the age-old argument of not having the space 
to get my sewing machine up so I may well sew it after I finish filming we'll see just for added strength really you know I mean you don't have to do it obviously glue should work fine but sometimes we like to sew as well just to make sure okay this is now apart from that little area there that's now <coughs> a stronger solid piece now obviously this piece is fairly flat so I think that will be my plain back and this crossover for the bottom of what would have been the bag is going to be the front that I actually decorate so the first thing I think I'm going to do is this has got three folds in it to give me four sections so I'm going to just tear down those fold lines and use the four pieces to make a bit of a collage as a background oops okay so we can go this way down there and then across the bottom and then maybe that way and build our way up okay <coughs> oh excuse me i've got a right frog this morning so we'll glue this up first of all and we'll get this first piece on like so okay and then this one which I'm going to take across the bottom like that and then we'll tear off the extra piece there and we'll put that that way like that okay and then this one I think will turn upside down just to keep it interesting with the fonts going in different directions especially as it all came from the same sheet you know we want to make it a little bit more interesting so turn this one upside down and put that there and tear that piece off <coughs> And now I've got this odd little piece that we'll put at the top. And then hopefully that piece, yeah, you see? And that's managed then to cover the whole of it. Just to give us, I'm going to glue this side. Just to give us some interest. And, whoops, except now I've ripped it. That's what happens when you don't renew your glue sheet although to be honest look at that fortunately it doesn't matter there we go so we've now got a background from that medicine packet instructions or enclosure so there's our background now i think um, I'm going to use this as a bit of a tie with a charm on it. I'm not quite sure what, what the goodness I'm supposed to do with this. Um, but obviously I don't really want to, although it does make a nice noise, I wonder how safe it would be. I usually just throw these away. Um Mm, I don't know about that. We'll see. Um, definitely want some of the tape measure. And because I'm an old-fashioned girl, I'm going with the inches. But you know what? I'm going to put it upside down so that we've got this little metal dangle at the bottom. And I'm going to put it right the way up the side there, I think, like that. Also, because these two are pink, 
that's encouraging the colour. Yeah. Now this one, I think we're going to have to use some YooHoo glue for because um, it is plastic, isn't it? And quite stiff. So we use my YooHoo for this. Not much of it in here, but I'm going to use this. Like so. Okay, it's very stinky, this stuff. Make sure you're well ventilated well you're not well ventilated you're in a well ventilated area you know what i mean so then we're gonna pop that on that edge there um it's gonna cover up some of that whiteness and it's gonna add some interest okay then what i want to do <clears throat> is I thought that this shower cap would make this into like a rosette. So I thought that would be quite nice to do. So I'm gonna open this up, she says. Goodness me, how can that be so hard? Like so. Because it's this, look, this lovely rosette shape. And I just thought we could make that work into a rosette and that would just sit on there like that but obviously it's very plain so we need some decoration on there and i thought we could use the children i thought that would be really good so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do a big circle with my kalau to glue this shower cap to okay so I want to get it like that and stick that down. I'm going to put a little bit extra on that, that edge there so that, that sticks on there. It's going to stick. Okay, and then this one, it seems a shame to open it and not use the wipe. So I'm going to try and put it on this bit of plastic and see if I can't clean my hands up with it afterwards. Cutting it open to try not to lose too much of the words or the pictures. We'll take the wipe out as I say I can use that now try and open this up and again obviously this has got a metal inside so I'm gonna to have to use a strong glue for this as well and I thought maybe we would tuck that under there. So let's get rid of that like pressed edge where it's glued and this side as well. Oh, Hubby's got sneezes and this top one. Okay, we can tuck that across there. Maybe on the angle. You know I love things to be on the angle. So let's get a little bit more glue on here. Actually, because that's metal, I'm going to use my Yoohoo again. Which I think we might just be coming right to the end of now. So we get that stuck down definitely on the angle again. As I say, you know I like an angle. I want it up a little bit there. Is this stuck? No, I feel like that's not stuck. No, it's not. So we're going to use you who that as well, I think. 
it's because it's that weird folded plastic so we get some yoo-hoo on that as well all our fouls use your yoo-hoo it dries really quickly and it's really strong okay now let's trim this up like so and also whites a slightly different pink we got the pink there in the fragrance free element okay I'm gonna put some ink around that on the glow right let's cut out these babies and then once we've fussy cut these I'm thinking these will go on the top of that badge just have an idea that although it would be lovely to use the wipe to clean my hands if I roll it around in my hand I can probably take the moisture out of it and I can get a little bit of all right, I want to get this little green bit out in the middle um, I can get the moisture out of it and then I could use it to make like a bit of a ruffle I'll show you what I mean for some reason my trusty scissors are not wanting to play ball oh look we've got a little tiny bit of green there get that bit out okay we're nearly there This is probably some of the worst fussy cutting I've ever done, but never mind, eh? It is rustic challenge after all. Whoops, and now I've dropped it. <clears throat> right. I wonder how Mel is getting on with the ones that I sent her because I've got to be honest and say I was a bit mean I think she's been a lot kinder in what she sent me and as I say it almost feels like she thought it through there we go <clears throat> so that's going to be the centre of our rosette there celebrating all things baby as it were okay we're gonna put yeah I think we're going back to the yoo-hoo to make sure we're gonna put some extra yoo-hoo across that sticky pad and then round the edge like so <clears throat> and then we're gonna pop that in the middle like that okay right so this it's actually quite wet it's amazing and it's quite large look at that so if we just 
roll it around we can dry it out and screw it up a little bit and actually we could add some color to it by cleaning my board with it a little bit just using up what's around me and what Mel sent me apart from the glow you see in the ink okay so we've got a little bit of ink residue come off my board and that's colored that up a bit and aged it up a little bit <clears throat> while I wait for this to dry or I've made it all wet I am going to take oh I still haven't found my my thing so I'm gonna go like that I'm gonna have to do that really annoying turnover thing now to try and match it up um, which is part of the reason I usually use my card because it just really annoys me trying to do this it's, although that's actually not come out too bad so then I'm just gonna double check my gluing first of all where um, obviously I've cut them corners off so I just double check that gluing but obviously once I go around with a sewing machine it will be fine right okay let's put the lid on this glue come on Claire tidy yourself up be a bit more organized okay so we're gonna run our ink around the edge just give it a little bit of age and distress okay <clears throat> and then using the wet wipe I'm gonna cut because I don't think you can tear these can you oh you can tear these ah oh, but they tear they tear that way okay that's the way the fibers are running okay so let's now tear this one down a bit and I'm just thinking we can get like a bit of a ruffle going up the top like so yeah so we can get a bit of a ruffle going so obviously that's still a little bit damp but I'm gonna glue that there I'm gonna put my bit of ruffle on the top I don't care that it's hanging over okay now where was that silica packet where's that gone oh no that's that's not good is it I've lost one of the components Mel Mel help <laughs> I've lost one of the components oh here it is flicked it over here I'm actually going to cut this top off and I'm going to empty it into my bin because I'm not happy about that lying around I don't quite know what it is and you know so then I'm going to open it up like so and then because it's babies and we're always warning them I'm going to tear this bit like here okay and I'm going to stick that onto my my little ruffle that's at the top there okay and then from the packet I want to cut the words so I'm going to cut these larger bits here and we're definitely going to have here this bit that says beauty baby 
I know we've got it there, but I want to tuck it in down the bottom there as well. So I'm going to tuck that in the bottom. Right now, this is going to be a little bit tricky, I think, because I've gone now and stuck that rosette down too well. There we go. Okay. Ta da! Right, let's move all of this out of the way because what we need to do now is work out how we can undo this bracelet now I know these do come undone because I know they're basically just tied up I remember when my girls were younger they used to make them but of course I think sadly Oh, actually, no, don't cut it, Claire. Claire, do not cut it. I'm going to take my hole punch and I'm going to come in quite a long way, about there. And what we're going to try and do, I don't know if we can do it because of the knots. Let me think about this. Let me think about this. We're going to need a bigger hole cut, Claire. A bigger hole so now I've got to find my bigger one and goodness knows where it is I'm going to have to unravel this box next to me where I can never find anything aha aha I think I've got it yay I've got it right so we're going to need a bigger hole so that we can get that charm through there we go. So we put the charm through like so. We can then pull this back up. We can then use this. Look at that. As our charm dangle with that lovely knot feature at the top there and we've got a little dangle but I'm not going to trust that so I'm just going to put a bit of glue on there again use my yoo and then just bring that down gives that a good stick But hold that for a little minute excuse me okay <coughs> and here you go an absolute 100% example of how you can very very easily create something from literally nothing It's certainly rustic. Um, it was certainly a bit of a challenge. But I'm pleased with the results. I've managed to use all of the seven items that Mel sent me. And I've even used the bag that she packed them in as the background for my tag. So, there you go. Rustic challenge. Oh, sorry. Rustic seven challenge using seven non-craft items on a tag join the challenge have a go it's a lot of fun stay safe i'll see you all very very soon thanks mel <laughs> bye <laughs>